Canelo Alvarez, payday. You won payday. He proves to be a hypocrite, and he proves that Floyd Mayweather is a genius, and he copies Floyd Mayweather. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some of that ism. I'm back with that, that pure stuff, that real boxing, you know. So make sure you guys subscribe. Now, I'm going to jump right into the content. Now, I, I post this. Canelo is a hypocrite, and I'm supposed to ignore it. Nah, that's just not how we built. We got to keep it even, Steven. What am I talking about, you ask? I'm glad you asked. When Floyd went to fight Conor McGregor, I don't know what you're thinking. Who the f- is that? Fuck the Mayweather. Right? When, when, when Floyd was fighting UFC fighter, superstar Conor McGregor, right, in 2017, you see on the screen what Canelo said in reference to that. And this is old media at its finest. The hypocrisy, the double standards, acting like cameras and microphones don't exist. Canelo Alvarez says that Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather fight is disrespectful. And he probably was taking shots because Floyd Mayweather being the marketing genius that he is, scheduled to fight about two or three weeks before his fight with Golovkin, the first fight with Golovkin. I went to both of them, so I remember that distinctly. A lot of traveling at that specific moment. And, you know, he's probably felt a type of way because Floyd, like, upstaged him with a bigger event. But for whatever reason, this is what he says. Canelo Alvarez says that Floyd Mayweather and Canelo or Conor McGregor fight was disrespectful. And he says like, oh, no, you know, it's not good boxing and things like that. This is not real. Golovkin and all the old media said the same thing. Like, oh, yeah, guys, it's a circus. No, nah, it's not true boxing. Business fight. Fast forward to the future. Golovkin says he would entertain a fight with the MMA fighter. Right. And fast forward to the future. Why not, Canelo says, Canelo Alvarez is open to a Kamaru Usman crossover fight. Oh, the hypocrisy. And you're not getting around this. When Floyd in 2017 set a trend and like really birthed like the Logan Pauls and the Jake Pauls and stuff, because all that came after the Conor McGregor fight. And Conor McGregor, he, he was up here. You know what I'm saying? He's still probably the UFC's biggest star. But back then, he would beat Jose Aldo and stuff like that. So he was he was up here, massive. I like Kamaru Usman. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's not at the same star power level as a guy like Conor McGregor. No way, no how. You know, even though he's a great champion. So why was it bad when Floyd did it, but then all of the same people from Oscar De La Hoya to Triple G, had no guys and Max to Canelo, they've all double back. And in true double standard and hypocritical fashion have now come back around and said that they would do it. I remember Oscar De La Hoya, you know, when he had Canelo, he called out Conor McGregor, says he wants Canelo to fight him. And then he also said he would fight him himself. You guys could research everything I'm saying. So I'm curious to know how Canelo switched up and says now is why not. Canelo also looks extremely bad and inconsistent and hypocritical because in addition to saying you're open to fighting Kamaru Usman, what are his credentials in the sport of boxing? Like, again, I like him as a UFC fighter, but to the point where you want to fight him and you're saying, why not? But then when it came to black American fights like Charlo, you became the franchise champion. When it came to black American fighters like Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, you said you just laughed him out the room and said, get the f- out of here. It's my night. Like, you're, you're horrible. You're terrible. You're a horrible fighter. I'll never fight you because you're so horrible. This is what Canelo said. So why, I'm asking you, why is it, why not for a guy we don't even know if he can box, especially at a Canelo level or an elite level of any boxer, like, you know what I'm saying? Kamaru Usman, he might not beat Danny Garcia. I don't know. I don't know what his game is. And again, he's not the star power of a Conor McGregor. So like Floyd, that's just an insane amount of money to leave on the table. Canelo versus Usman, I don't even know how big that would be. Yeah, maybe it's big. Maybe. I don't know. But I know it's not Mayweather McGregor big, you know? So you look at Canelo. I made this. He, fighting two, he fought two American fighters in his last 13 fights. Check, I got another video coming on that. One of them was a black American, and that was Danny Jacobs. One was Caleb Plant, right? So I'm just trying to see when does it end. Canelo Alvarez, he's saying all these other people need to fight each other 
Charlo, Andre, Benavides, they got to fight each other and have some kind of kumite, like this is blood sport, to earn him and all that stuff. But Dimitri Bivol doesn't even have to raise his profile in America. He get an opportunity. He doesn't have to bring anything else additional to the potluck. Can you imagine, speaking of potluck, I'm the king of analogies and I'm the king of examples. Let's say you were at your, your job was having a potluck and they says you cannot, you ego cannot eat unless you bring something substantial, lasagna, spaghetti, you know, some hamburgers, whatever you can't eat. But then they allowed other coworkers to not bring anything to the potluck or to bring very like, you know, just bring an appetite or something or one plate for themselves. And they were able to eat anything. You know, how does that work? And that's the same thing that goes for Canelo Alvarez. How come Andrade is a horrible fighter? Charlo, Boo Boo, um, David Benavidez, they got to fight each other so you could quote unquote pick off the winner and fight the winner. But Kamaru Usman, who we don't even know if he can box, is why not? Dimitri Bivol and all these other guys who really don't have big profiles in America, like John Ryder, they don't have to do this extra. They don't have to go through this gauntlet. So as you guys can see, this looks extremely bad for Canelo Alvarez. Stay tuned to the channel. I got more heat. And, you know, when does it end? That's my question. You said Mayweather was disrespectful, and now you're copying him. And Canelo fans don't want to admit this, but I told you, they, they want Canelo to be what Floyd was. They want Canelo to so-called be the Mexican Mayweather, but he'll never be that. He can't. He can't retire undefeated like Floyd Mayweather did. That's Floyd took that. And, you know, just for you to come out and say, the fight with Connor was disrespectful and hurt, hurtful to the sport of boxing. But then now you're entertaining UFC fighters. I find that mighty hypocritical. I tell you, most dangerous things: the camera and the microphone. And these things come back to haunt you when you don't speak with any level of um, common sense, and you you just easily. I, it, these are just easy for me to pick off because I was there for it. I was here for all these moments, so I remember what you said. You know, and, and when you put your thoughts out there, like I have videos that I did five, 10 years ago, and I still feel exactly how I felt then. Now, clearly people like Canelo, Triple G, De La Hoya and old medium who criticized Conor McGregor and uh, Floyd Mayweather, they've had a change of heart because they said Floyd was hurting the sport and made made a circus. But now they're embracing other fighters. Notice uh, certain fighters, especially Caucasian fighters like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they have no problem with them being YouTube boxer crossover boxers. But when Floyd did it, which everybody copied, it was the biggest problem in the world. So we know what time it is and we know why that exists. I'll save some of that for another video, but it just goes to show you the greatness of a Floyd May Mayweather that in real time when he's saying these things, He's on the front lines and is met with resistance. Like when he was saying Pacquiao needs to take the test above and beyond Olympic style blood and urine test. People said, oh, you're scared. You're a coward. You don't want none. Wah, 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 wah. But then now drug testing is the norm in boxing, right? When he picked Conor McGregor, which was, which was one of the highest grossing fights behind Pacquiao and made all the sense in the world. Guys like Canelo criticized that. They said, nah, this is horrible. You're hurting the sport. Again, fast forward to the future. Now you're saying, why not? And Kamaru Usman, again, who we don't even know could box, he could jump the line, but Andre's a horrible fighter. I mean, this just looks horrible. Let me know how I did. I'm the best in the business. This is why you should subscribe. And I'm out. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. 
I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster.